Welcome back to Magic Gathering Strat. We are playing Gate Crash uh, Swiss Draft in the release events. And this is my deck. I'm playing red, white, splashing a little black. And I think I have a mental deficiency. I think I went into this draft thinking that Denir and Simic did not exist. I felt very comfortable in Orsov yesterday, uh, more comfortable than I ever thought I would actually. And I am, uh, I know Boris uh, is very good. I like Boris, I like being aggressive. And I absolutely love Gruul. I won nationals in my country playing Gruul colors. So I love Gruul. Uh, so I think I uh, screwed up this draft in so many ways, but I especially think I ignored Simic. Because Demir is, maybe it's possible to ignore Demir, or it has, it takes knowledge that I don't have right now, that people need to study to know how to draft Demir. But Simic is out there, and I think the Simic deck presented itself to me with like three or four Ivy Lane Denizens. Lane Denizens. I could have done wonders. Uh, but I didn't take it, so um, I hope my knowledge of aggressive decks helps out. I do have 15 creatures now, uh, 15 with the uh, uh, Night Watch. I hope that will be enough. Double Bomber Corpse, I'm not too sure about that card. Another card that really needs evaluation is Arrows of Justice. And we are off for the first game! Uh, and let's see how this goes. No matter how it goes, I will post this because I am here to learn. And I want to help you learn while I learn. So please comment on anything in the comments. And we are up against Wolf Medic. Uh, we do prefer to play first because this is a very fast format. And I think this is a keep despite uh, absolutely nothing happening. Uh, we can play the armor transport and we need two more mana to play the tiger. Oh, it's hard, but I'm gonna keep this because I tend to fail on the keep side. And possibly that was not to keep. What do you think? Make your comments. Uh, on mtgostrat.com, where I'm gonna post this draft. Uh, no, I'm not gonna post it there, sorry. Uh, you can do your comments on YouTube. Because I posted a draft there yesterday and I don't want to spam the site. So, here we are in the situation we feared. Uh, maybe we'll just miss the land drop next turn and do nothing against the red deck. So at least I'm calling out my errors as I make them. Halberdiers will uh, suck really bad. There they are! And uh, yeah, this is why Martial Glory is worse than Agony Warp. Because Agony Warp could be used in this situation. And uh, Martial Glory can't. So I am stalling on 3 mana. And had I played Armor Transport he would have been fine. I would have sacrificed him there. Whoa. Wolf Medic will have a field day here against my deck with no defense. Halberdiers is so good that I, I don't mind first picking them playing Boros. Having a tree to a tree power two drop is extremely powerful. Uh well, there is a good sign, actually. Him being Gruul means that he is much less likely to overrun us quickly. Uh, so what's the card I'm throwing away here? Uh, I think it's Nightwatch actually, because there are two other five drops. Uh, this is the last chance to draw land. If I draw land here, oh, he will have battalion next time. So, but I will be able to kill the disciple of the old ways, uh, given that he has no blood rush, which of course he probably has. But if I draw land now, I will fight so hard. It's the key rune. That's good because that will stall him. 
Uh, and of course, the Sun Home Guild Mage. Uh, that actually means that I am uh, now dead at 12 land and uh, I don't draw anything that I can cast. Uh, so now I'm discarding Nav Squad because they will never be played in this game. So what can I sideboard? I have Acts of Treason, they don't do much. I have Mark for Death. Uh, I don't think I need to cyber anything, I just need to survive the initial rush uh, to be able to defend against him and then overwhelm him with my stronger, bigger battalion cards. I don't know even if that can be done in this format, or if you are like, the quickest Boros deck always wins. But it's definitely the case that the Boros deck that actually has mana will uh, do better than the other. So, uh, on to the second game. And the thing we learned from that game is that uh, I need to take mulligans in that case. Uh, at the time I didn't know uh, that he was playing Boros, but uh, you always have to consider that people play Boros in this format. So now I'm fighting for honor. Here's a much better hand, uh, old <laughs> although nothing happens until turn 5, but I have all my mana. So this is probably another hand that I should have mulliganed, but I will never mulligan that kind of hand. I know my deck is expensive, this is the price I pay. I have all the mana I need, oh, except that I need another plane. And here is Bomber Corpse, and for once Bomber Corpse can actually block something, that's just awesome. So I'm gonna block uh, the Denizen, happily. Uh, trading my one drop for his two drop preventing battalion, uh, I, that will just make me so happy. And I don't think he should have attacked there. Uh, but then we have nothing and Halberdier will be able to hit us two times. Putting us to 14 plus whatever he plays now. And I think it's definitely an, an edict. But hopefully we draw something we can play turn 4. Oh, <laughs> double Halberdier! <laughs> and the Boros Elite! Well, that means uh, good people that I am uh, dead, I guess. Uh, Scorchwalker will sacrifice himself against his one drop. And will be happy doing it. If, he, if he's even allowed to do it. Uh, So we are blocking Boros Elite. Battalion is in effect. Uh, and him not having another creature. But he needs actually two more creatures to have Battalion again next turn. But he has me at 8 plus whatever he plays now. If I get to kill the Boros Elite, I'm not sure about that. He can blood rush it, he can give it for a strike with that instant. But I get to kill him, it looks like. Yeah. So now he is playing something that is going to put me at four lives. Uh. Maybe I didn't have removal next turn. Maybe I actually have to play the Urbis uh, the uh, Nav Squad Commando. Because he can block these guys. And next turn he can pit fight. And not much else. But if he, if he can't get past uh, Nav Squad Commando, I have a chance. If I just edict here, he's just beating me down for a lot anyway. So I am playing the Navs Code Commando. 
and the sheep car next turn would be great. And this is uh, the worst part about gate crush, but I've made so many mistakes. I could have handled this a lot better. Uh, but Boros running people over, that's what reminds uh, uh, reminds others of Sendikar. And I'm gonna block the Halberdier or the Warmind Infantry. I think I'm actually blocking the Infantry. One power, he can get one power easily than two. I'm blocking a Halberdier and going to four. And there, it's very doubtful there's a way out of this. I might be even dead now, it's just Boris Charm. Okay, yeah. And that means that Battalion remains intact and I have to deal with all these three guys. And of course that's not possible, so I have lost 0-2. to two. Uh, And my poor, poor crap deck was just overrun by Boros. And that's the price I paid. So what would have happened if I had drafted Simic? If I had all those Ivy Lane Denizens and uh, the cheap Simic cards, uh, I think I would have died the same way. Uh, and his Boros build here, uh, splashing a bit of gruel, with the draws he had, I don't think there was anything I could have done during the draft to give me a better deck than this, but I could have gotten a, a deck that had a better chance against other decks. But in this match, I'm prepared to say that I didn't see cards that could help me beat this. Please prove me wrong by telling me what I could have drafted instead and give me the minutes or the pick order for the picks so I can go back and review it because that would be very helpful I don't want to throw away my tickets I don't want to um, I already lose a lot of money drafting uh, it's very very hard to be infinite on drafting I was so close but now I'm losing 83 cents per draft and that's too much um, I am infinite but I'm infinite on trading and playing pauper so I should just play pauper and trade and that's what i'm gonna do if i continue to suck like this so please help me improve thank you for watching magic gathering strat playing uh, boros against boros uh, bad boros against good boros <laughs>